What's up guys? Welcome back to 10th Innings Cards and Collectibles with another through the mail autograph return. This week I have 13 returns. I have not pre-cut any of these except for the first one. This is actually take two. I had to add some lighting because I literally could not see the cards on the first go around. So I know who the first one is, but the rest of them are all complete surprises. Um, just as a reminder, real quick, I get all of my returns from sportscardforum.com and sportscollectors.net. There's the addresses right there. Sports Card Forum is free to sign up for sportscollectors.net. I think the fee is like nine or 10 bucks for the entire year, but that's where I get all my autographs. But let's quit wasting time. Let's dive into return number one. I got back on the seventh. This one came from Daniels, New Jersey. And here it is, guys. Former New York Yankee and uh, former Seattle Mariner, Steve Balboni. So he only signs one card at a time. So don't send him two or three cards. He won't sign them. He'll just send you uh, one back. And it may not be the one that you necessarily want. But there he is. He spent the majority of his career, it looks like, uh, at that point with the uh, Kansas City Royals. I believe he spent time with New York. Maybe I'm mess messing up. If I'm wrong, I'll, I'll pop it up on the screen here. But I think at some point he spent some time with the Yanks. Uh, but I have him signed this 1989, signed nicely in blue Sharpie. So that is return number one. Let's get to our second return. And return number two, got back on the seventh. This one comes to us from Tampa, Florida. Let's tear it open, see what we have inside. Oh, very cool. Mr. Chris Mim, who uh, spent some time with the Cleveland Cavaliers and uh, several other teams in his NBA career. Oh, he personalized this too, to Kyle, Chris Mim. That's really cool. He's got a, a pretty cool signature. Um, he added the number four in there, kind of hard to see. I actually just did not have a lot of Chris Mim cards, so that's why I didn't send him more, but there you go. So one of one return from Chris Mim, former Cleveland Cavalier, and um, yeah, that turned out really nicely, so I'm excited about that one. Let's get to our third return. Okay, number three, back on the seventh. This one comes to us from Santa Ana, California. Let's see who we have inside. Oh, very cool. Chris Donalds. Very nice. I believe I sent him two or three cards. Looks like I got two back at least. Um, but let's take a look. So this is the 1993 Topps card. He actually put his uh, MLB debut on there. So May 7th, 1991. I believe I asked him to do that. I thought that would look kind of cool. Um, on this card and I'm glad he picked the 93 because I think the 93 looks better than the 92 but let's compare them I did send him the 92 oh cool he actually added that on both cards so that's kind of unexpected I don't know at the end I always put all the cards in in the row that I got them I put my favorite on top most of these guys I'm sending somewhere between two to four cards to them so you'll be able to uh, tell me which one's your favorite. But right now, kind of leaning toward that 93, but I'll give it a second look once we get to it. But that's return number three, two of two from Chris Donalds, former New York Met. Thank you very much. Let's get to return number four. And return number four, I got this back on the seventh as well. That Monday was great for returns. This one's coming to us from... PA, Pittsburgh PA, and we've got, oh, very excited about this one.
Okay, number six came back on the eighth. This one comes to us from Tampa Bay, Florida, St. Petersburg. We've got another baseball player and we've got Buck Martinez. Former Toronto Blue Jays. This is a 85 Fleer. This card looks great with the blue ink on there. Goes well with the uh, Blue Jay colors. You can see he had uh, quite the uh, long career. Started in 1968 in the minors there and then all the way through 1984. I'm not sure what his last year in the big leagues was. Um, but yeah, I mean, he must have been one heck of a catcher to uh, last that long. Mostly a backup um, throughout his career. You can see he never cracked the 100 games in one season mark, at least up to that point. Um, so not sure exactly why he didn't get much playing time. He's a little bit before my time, um, but I do really like these 85 Fleer cars. I'm probably going to get some more of these signed here in the future. Let me know what you guys think. Do you like these 85 Fleer cards? I think they look great with ink. So definitely going to keep trying to send those out more. But there we go. A one of one return from Buck Martinez. That's our sixth return. Let's get to number seven.
And number 12 comes to us on the 12th of August from Los Angeles, California. We have not had a lot of basketball. I'm kind of shocked. No football yet. Baseball is just kicking butt this week. So let's take a look and see what we have here. Uh, apologize for my son being loud in the background there. I don't think he knows I'm recording a video right now. But let's take a look. Oh, we've got Michael Cooper, Los Angeles Laker. You can kind of catch him on the HBO show right now. But we've got three back from him. Here's the 1990-91 Fleer. This one looks great. Looks like he adds Michael Cooper and then L.A. at the bottom. That's kind of cool. So there's the 90-91 Fleer. Here's the 90-91 Hoops. This one came out really good as well. It's got a big swoop on the end of his signature there. You can see he spent his entire career with the Lakers and uh, was a, a key contributor to uh, several championships with the Lakers there. And then here is one of my favorite sets to get signed, 9091 Skybox. This one turned out great. It actually looks even better off camera. Um, unfortunately, I couldn't, I've, I've opened several boxes of Skybox and I just don't pull Michael Cooper. So this one was like my one of my childhood cards and you can see I was a little rough with my cards as a kid. And uh, yeah, so the corners are all dinged up but that's cool. Three of three from Michael Cooper, Los Angeles Lakers star, key contributor for the Lakers. And uh, yeah, he charges no fee and you can send off some cards to Michael Cooper and get them signed pretty quickly. So um, check that out. Now let's get to our last and final return of the day. 13th and final return. Got this one back on the 13th, but man, these uh, the dates just kept lining up. This one comes from Corpus Christi, Texas. Let's see. Get in there. There we go. Let's see if we can get another basketball return. Baseball, we've got Jim Aker. Pitcher for the Toronto Blue Jays. Let's take a Looks like I sent him three cards. I got three back. Starting off with 1990 Upper Deck. Sorry, 91 Upper Deck. It's got a cool little signature. That's a that's a much different J. His own little style there. That looks cool. See some of his uh, stats here. Atlanta Braves for a couple years. Blue Jays for a couple years. Looks like primarily maybe a spot starter. Looks mostly like a bullpen guy. I don't know a ton about Jim Aker off the top of my head. Um, although I do remember getting his cards as a kid. Here we go, the 1991 Donross. Oh, this looks great. A lot of blue mixed in there. So you got the 91 Donross. And then we've got one more here. This looks like 87 tops with the Atlanta Braves. Number 38, that looks awesome. There we go, Jim's brother Bill is a defensive lineman in the NFL having played for both the Chiefs and the Bills. So I guess I need to see if Bill Aker also signs and try and find some Bill Aker cards so I can pair these together. That'd be kind of cool. Little brother-brother combo for TTM autographs. So three of three return from Jim Aker brother of Bill. Um, we're going to do the recap next and I'll show you guys all the cards and my favorites will all be on top. Um, let's check it out. Okay guys, 13 up, 13 down. Let's take a look and do our recap video here. So got the one of one from, oh, got the one of one from Steve Balboni, the one of one from Chris Mim. We've got the uh, 92 tops is the winner for Chris Donalds. 101 for TJ, McConnell 101 for Cerrone, 
a one-on-one for Buck Martinez. I swear, I, I barely ever send one-on-ones, which is kind of funny. Uh, the Flair Showcase was my favorite Jeff King auto. The uh, 1990 Upper Deck was my favorite Bill Sampin auto. I went with the 89 Tops for Dennis Lamp. A one-on-one from uh, Dave Johnson. I like the 90 Tops for Mickey Weston. The 9091 Skybox for Michael Cooper. And then lastly, the 1987 uh, Tops for Jim Aker. But there we go, 13 returns. I will be back next week with all new TTM through the mail autographs for you guys. In the meantime, thanks for watching this episode, and I will see you on the next one.